Hey everyone, it's Kelly for Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me. In the last video I showed you how I made our bath milks and this was to go into one of our Christmas gift packs. The other item we're putting into that Christmas gift pack is some bath salts. And again, this is a nice quick easy project that anyone can do and I have left my recipe down below. The recipe is really easily customizable to use whichever salts that you want and whichever botanicals to go along with the sort of theme of um, your bath salts and for my bath salts today we are doing a sleepy time set so very much so lavender based the first thing I am going to add into my bowl here and um, once we've got our scales on is some natrazorb and the natrazorb is a tapioca starch which has been very finely ground and it can hold any wet liquids in a dry format so this is really handy when you are adding into salts so that you aren't making your salts all wet which will eventually actually um, dissolve down if they are wet. So the fragrance that I'm using in my bath salts is Bedtime Baby by Nature's Garden. I've actually had this bottle for quite a while and there is a place here in Australia, um, I think both Cody's and Big Trees, they've actually changed their name though. I'll leave the links down below. You can buy the Nature's Garden fragrances through them. And so I've got the bottle and then I've just topped it up each time I've bought from the Australian companies. So I'm just going to pop my fragrance oil in there and I'm going to mix it into this Natrazorbs to make a nice sort of breadcrumb consistency. Um, if it is looking like it is still too wet, you just add a little bit more Natrazorb. It, it really is dependent upon your area's sort of climatic conditions to how much Natrazorb you're going to need. I usually start off with about equal ratios. So I, if I've got 10 grams of powder, then I use 10 grams of essential oil. Um, or fragrance oil and then I um, if I need some more I can always add a little bit more into it all right so we've got this into a nice breadcrumb sort of consistency it's not too wet and it's not too dry either the idea behind the natrazorb is that it's holding this liquid and when it hot, hits the bath water it will actually dissolve that natrazorb and it will then release that fragrance oil into the bath so next I'm going to add in the botanicals that I'm going to use and I know in the last video I said that I hate floaties in the bath but I think with your um, your bath salts it's kind of a given that it is going to have little floaty bits in there. Usually when I do my bath salts I do offer a little muslin bag as well so people that like myself that don't like them can put the mix into the, into the little bag and it makes like a tea within the bathtub. First thing I'm going to add in here, because this is all sleepy time sort of feeling, I'm going to add in my botanicals which are very much associated with sleepy time and are meant to be quite calming. These ones here are chamomile buds, so we're going to pour all of those in here. Oops. Oh, just needs a little bit of encouragement to come out of the pot. That's it. And the next one I am going to add in is some lavender because of course most people say that lavender is very calming for you. Straight up lavender tends to make me feel very uptight because um, of all the cleaning products tend to be in lavender. But when it's blended with other oils, I don't seem to mind the smell of lavender too much and then it does actually calm and relax me. So we have got our lavender buds in. And I'm also going to add in some rose petals. So these are also associated with um, calming, but also just to add that little bit of extra color into this mix. So you can add whichever botanicals you want in here according to what fragrance or essential oils that you are using. So I have also done sort of like an uplifting blend and I put in things like lemongrass, um, I put in the, um, the rose petals as well for a little bit of colour. So it really does depend what you're trying to achieve with them. Um, I've also done an aches and pains one, which I put things like nettle and comfrey in there, which are meant to be um, known for soothing of the skin. Just going to give this a bit of a mix up here and then I will add in the salts. 
Okay, so as mentioned earlier, you can put in whichever salts you want. If you just want to put Epsom salts, you can go for that. Um, the only salts I do recommend trying to avoid are your Dead Sea salts um, because these ones do draw in that moisture and do make the mix very wet. And I know this from experience, so I try and avoid those Dead Sea salts. Um, if I am going to use Dead Sea Salt in any of my salt mixes, I tend to actually make sure that there are no botanicals in there and it is generally just a Dead Sea Salt with some tapioca starch and fragrance. So what I am going to be using in here, I have some of the pink, Him pink Himalayan Salt and this is a fine grade of the salt and we're just going to pop it straight into the basket into the bowl here when it comes time to mixing them up that's when I'll break up all these clumps so being a sleepy time um, bath salt I am going to add in some Epsom salts which are meant to be very good for calming and for helping you to relax so we'll get those ones in here as well and a majority of my mix here is going to be the Epsom salts and then as a final salt I am also going to add in some salt crop crystals and these are a slightly larger grain of salt here now all of these salts you can pretty much buy in your super, local supermarket. So your sea salt that you buy in the cooking aisle, Epsom salts are generally found in the bathroom aisle. Um, there's plenty of other salts on the market as well that you can use, which you can get from your your local supermarket. Uh, so I have used you know the botanicals, which I do obviously get from a supplier. But you could always buy, um, if you're just a home crafter, you could always buy some teas, like the teas that use the botanicals in them. But we've got a couple of little rocks. These are actually, when, when I first opened this container, I actually found a seashell on the top. So these actually do come um, from off the beach somewhere. So, I'm just so as I was saying, if... Um, if you are a home crafter and you want to add botanicals into your um, into your mix here, you can always buy tea, um, tea too here in, here in Australia and tea tonic. And I'm sure there's plenty of other tea companies throughout the world sell some really nice teas that actually don't have tea in them, so no black or green tea. If you do put the tea leaves in with it, you are going to end up with bath water that will get um, that sort of brownish tinge but you can buy teas that just have like chamomile and rose and lavender and things through them and there's no reason why you can't actually use those to make up um, any of these bath salts and if you're wanting to add a bit of fragrance you can use some essential oils just make sure that you're not going over that sort of one percent of volume um, depending upon the essential oil that you are choosing to use so I'm going to give these a good little mix up and then I'm going to pop them into my little milk bottles. Okay, so that really is all there is to making some bath salts. So it's now time to get it into my little jars and then I will be labeling them up. So we are up to the last bottle here. When you are filling your bottles up, be sure to make sure you get a nice even mix of salts and botanicals through your mix um, so that you don't end up with your final bottle having just the flowers in it. Um, that will actually affect the weight of your product if you're packaging them up to sell. So always try and get make sure you get that nice mix in there so you end up with the correct weight in each of your bottles here. So we're almost at the end and then I am going to go and grab the labels and we'll get these ones labelled up ready to go in the gift pack. Okay so we are now up to labelling these ones here and once again I have got my labels which I have designed in Corel Draw and then printed up myself on a HP laser printer. 
Now when I do my soaking salts I always put a note on them that they shouldn't be used with by people who do have high blood pressure or I believe it's the third trimester of pregnancy but most women will actually know that themselves but they definitely shouldn't be used by people who have high blood pressure issues. So I do like to put that down as a warning on there just to cover myself. So I'm going to get all of these ones labelled. So just a couple of little tips when you are labelling products up. There's a few different ways to make sure that you get, do get your labels straight. On some bottles, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, you do get a little seam line that runs down them and you can line your stickers up with that seam line and then you'll get a nice straight sticker. The way that I have found best for me is to lay my product down in front of me and I start from the middle of my label make sure that it is all nice and straight and then I wrap around and about 90% of the time I do end up with a nice straight label when I do it this way but there are lots of other little tips and tricks out there as to how to get your labels straight on your bottle if anyone does have any ideas that they'd like to share with others why not leave them down in the comments section down below of this video and then we're just going to do the last one here. And once again, just lining it up so it's nice and straight. And then I pull it tight around the bottle to make sure it sticks. So there we have it. There is our Sleepy Time Bath Salts. And this one is also going to be added into this little caddy. And I think we're going to pop it in on that side there. And as mentioned, because I don't like floaties in my bathtub, I'm going to include this little muslin drawstring bag. The idea is you'd put some of the salts into the bag and then pop it into the bath water and let it steep like you would a cup of tea. Then what I find with this bag, so all the salts will actually melt out and it will leave the botanicals behind. What I say to people is if you do have a tumble dryer, if you throw this along with your towels into the tumble dryer after use, it will dry it out and it will scent your towels. And then once that's dry, it's really easy to then just flip the bag inside out and empty those botanicals. Otherwise, if you don't have a dryer, just leave the bag on the side until it's nice and dry. And then you'll be able to get the botanicals out of that bag quite easily. So we'll pop that one in there and then I'm off to make the next thing to go into this little basket. So I hope you've enjoyed watching how I make my sleepy time soaking salts. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and I will get back to you with any questions as soon as I can. And until the next video, have a great day. Bye.